Welcome to Nutrition and Life. For today, I would like to share this blog about best foods to eat before and after getting the COVID vaccine. There are no official guidelines for what to eat before or after getting your vaccine. Making smart and thoughtful food choices is always a good idea and maybe now more than ever. Regardless of what vaccine you're getting, you will want to set your health up for success by eating a clean, whole foods-based diet. While so many people experience no side effects to the vaccine, some report mild reactions like fatigue, headache, chills, and sometimes fever. If you experience any effects, you want to suit the inflammatory immune response. A large portion of your immune system resides in your microbiome. So, side effects or not, focus on foods that are going to be gentler on your gut. Do not get your vaccine on an empty stomach. Having some time nutritious in your system Pre-injection can help the enter process feel a bit more bearable. While eating before your appointment does not appear to have any effect on the vaccine's effectiveness, it could help prevent you from fainting or feeling dizzy, especially if you don't typically do well with needles. Considering people are required to wait at least 10 to 15 minutes post boxing to monitor for any potential allergic reactions to the injection, eating something beforehand can help you feel your vest during the enterprises. Most facilities won't allow you to eat snacks in the waiting area. Choose food combinations that include unrefined carbohydrates, healthy fats, and protein to give your meal some staying power. Focus on anti-inflammatory foods. After you get your vaccine, you want to support your immune system. Focusing on anti-inflammatory foods that are not heavily processed or refined may help your body stay healthy. In 2020 article published in the British Journal of Nutrition, results show that eating an anti-inflammatory diet can help reduce the risk of COVID-19. Focus on healthy fats and less processed foods to reap the most benefits from your diet. Include avocado, salmon, nuts, and vegetables. These are all great choices with anti-inflammatory effects. Keep anti-nausea items on hand. While some people will feel just fine after receiving their vaccine, some may feel nauseated afterwards. Keeping items that may help combat these are the following. Ginger tea or fresh ginger, soda crackers, chicken broth, and lemon wages. Stay hydrated. Headaches are a common side effect of the vaccine, and being dehydrated can exacerbate that pain. Stay ahead the sore feeling by drinking lots of fluids. Stick with water. 100% root juice, teas, or other options that are not too sugary. Keeping a water bottle by your side throughout the day can help stay on top of your hydration the day of your appointment. Bone broth. There's a reason people advise eating chicken noodle soup or any soups when you're sick. Not only does it warm you up, but the broth 
can truly be a healing. Bone broth made with you, with your beef, chicken, turkey bones, with vegetables, high highest life levels of collagen, which helps repair the lining of the gut. Plus, you don't need a soup to gain the benefits of bone broth. Simply sip it like a cup of tea. Green vegetables such as is uh, kale, collards, broccoli, pechai, and so many others, all have high levels of antioxidants, which help combat free radicals and fight infection in the body. Broccoli, for example, contains the antioxidant sulforaphane, which help protect against oxidative stress and combats inflammation. One more note, cooking your vegetables may increase nutrient absorption and be easier on your digestion. Prebiotic rich foods like garlic and onions. These are high in prebiotics, garlic and onions, which help feed the good bacteria in your gut. And a happy gut means a healthier you. Soups and stews to nurture and support your immune system, which originates in your gut, focus on healing foods like soups and stews. Green tea. This simple inflammation fighting elixir boasts high levels of the plant compound called EGCG or Epiga locatechin trigalate, which works as a powerful antioxidant, protecting cells from damage caused by free radicals. That damage creates inflammation, so a warm cup of tea aids your body at the cellular level, and the ritual of drinking tea can also suit the soul. Salmon. Salmon is a great source of omega-3 fatty acids, which your body breaks down into resolvents and pectins. These two compounds that help decrease inflammation. Unfortunately, not all salmon is created equal. These facts about farmed salmon may shock you. Luckily, wild salmon has many other benefits, likely omega-3 without the disadvantages that come from farm fish. Turmeric, anti-stress food. The bright orange root may be the ultimate superfood. Studies show that curcumin, the active ingredient in turmeric, not only fights inflammation, but also assists brain function protecting the hippocampus against stress. Turmeric is my go anti stress foods. A pink of black pepper or healthy fat increases the bioavailability of curcumin. Blueberries. Blueberries are another inflammation fighting favorite, which is specifically recommended by moss. Not only they have a great source of antioxidant, but research also suggests that they can increase serotonin levels, the hormone responsible for balancing your mood. Top your unsweetened yogurt with a handful of berries and you'll have an antioxidant fat, prebiotic rich combo. What to avoid? Im inflammatory foods. Since vaccine amp of your immune response, you'll want to avoid any foods that you know cause an inflammatory immune response for you, including foods you have sensitivities towards. Some of these are the sugar, refined flour, vegetable oils, dairies, and artificial sweeteners, to name a few. But considering steering clear of this whole list at least 
for a bit. Skip the alcohol. Drinking alcohol before you get the vaccine is not advised. And although having a cocktail or two after your shot does not appear to make your shot less effective, overdoing it can make you feel physically worse. Compound that with the side effects many experience after getting vaccination. Liturgy, headache, and it makes the perfect recipe for not feeling brain. It might also make it difficult. What is a side effect of the vaccine from what is a side effect of too much alcohol? Plus, alcohol can cause an inflammatory response in the body, which you should try to steer clear from where trying to support your overall health and immune system. In summary, a new study suggests that drinking coffee and eating vessels may be correlated with a lower risk of contracting COVID-19. Although no one food can prevent COVID-19, this paves the way for more research into how diet affects immune responses. So avoiding alcohol before and after your vaccination is a healthy choice. If for sleep, especially the night before, being well rested helps your immune system work do best. And of course, stay well hydrated and swap your processed foods for whole foods. Studies have shown that during this pandemic, people have this particular item. That's all for today and see you in my next blog. God bless. Hi! Thank you for watching my blog. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the notification below. For more updates and for more upcoming videos, see me in my next blog. God bless you all.